Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this week I received this thing called a uh, LoRa 32V4. Um, we've used the V3 for a long time now. That's sort of a default of a beginner's um, mesh static node, but um, there's now a V4 out, which is pretty cool. So, um, you know, it comes in this little case and it looks like this. Um, I think everybody by now has seen some pictures of it. Um, it looks like this. And, uh, you know, there's some protection around the screen this time, which is cool. Um, you know, they added a solar input and they added a, uh, a, a, a connector where you can plug in the, the GPS connector straight into there. So, you know, I don't know about the solar, this is still a ESP32. So, um, you know, it, it's not really meant for solar at all. I wouldn't run this as a solar node, but as a mobile node or a, or a home node, Meshtastic or Meshcore node, I think, I think this is perfect. You know, it has Wi-Fi, it has Bluetooth. And they say they've done some work on the performance. And one of the big claims is, it's now, you know, got stronger LoRa output or whatever. I don't know if that's true. I, I don't really care about that. Uh, you know, if it is, that's great. If not, but we'll find out. So that's a little unit over there. Um, like always, got the USB and it's got these two plugs here. Um, you know, so um, I printed this little case, which I just found um, online little buttons in there. I just did a quick print there. That's the back of a case. And, um, you know, it comes with, uh, this unit comes with this um, little uh, antenna over here. Uh, you know, the, the standard little antenna, but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna put a little, I've got this little pigtail thing. You can look in the description. There's links to this kind of thing. And then I got a nice beefy 3000 milliamp hour battery that I want to connect to it. So um, obviously this, first of all, if we wanted to start uh, the build, we're going to have to uh, drop that in there, um, the uh, antenna. And you can see inside there, it just goes inside there um, so that um, we can get uh, um, the antenna through. So uh, I'm not going to put the, the washers on because you want the length of this that sticks out. You want it as much as possible. Um, so I'm going to just screw this on. And quite honestly, I haven't even turned this unit on. I have no idea if, it, if it's even working or not. I have not turned it on at all. Um, I'm going to just use a little uh, pliers over here to tighten the nut a little bit over here. There we go. I think the print on the other side does have a holder. It doesn't matter. Seems to be pretty nice and tight there. So um, first thing, you, you never want to start these units, of course, without an antenna on at all. So I see there's a Velora antenna goes on the end here. Um, right on the end. I see there's a place for a second antenna and that apparently is the Wi-Fi antenna but they do say you have to modify something in the hardware to make that available otherwise I assume it will use the internal antenna. So uh, first things first let's uh, connect the LoRa antenna. So there it is. The LoRa antenna is connected. I think it's going to go something like that and then there's the place for a USB. I'm assuming this is going to go through here. Oh, I don't like that it's putting pressure on this antenna cable over here. You see it's coming loose over there. Hmm. That might be an issue uh, in this case. So let me see what I can do there. I'm going to try again. I'm going to connect that up. I'm going to stick that through there. But, uh, yeah, you have to do it the other way around. Let's see, that way. 
make sure that uh, the USB comes out this side properly then try and see that nope 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 and nope I don't like what I'm seeing wait there it goes there it goes hang on it is going so um, I'm going to just uh, take a little pliers or something and uh, get this a little bit clicked in uh, over here this uh, plastic seams you know that's always the thing with new newer cases as they bolt new they um, they have some issues so let me do that quickly hang on I'll be back okay there we go I uh, I just took a little bit with a knife took a little bit of that away the plastic at the top and it now seats nicely we can see it's in there okay now um, I guess we want to uh, connect uh, the battery um, you know let me first put an antenna on I always say do not start this without an antenna and I don't have an antenna uh, let me get an antenna quickly I'm going to use this little, this little uh, 915 antenna let me get that on there and make sure let's look at the polarity yep that's got the pin that's got the hole male and female I think everybody understands that now uh, the battery as far as I know the battery uh, the one at the top if you hold it this way this is solar at the top and the bottom one's battery and which is a little bit sucky you can see they put it like right against the USB port I don't know why they would do that because your wires will have to bend now but let's have a look at the battery polarity so this is a board battery this uh, 3000 milliamp hour and this is the wire they give us so if we hold both of them the same way yep it looks like um, the battery polarity is correct so always check that before you just plug a battery into it make sure that the battery matches um, again it will be this one will be the battery the one at uh, at a uh, 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 bottom or whatever as I'm holding it like this okay let's see um, let's get the battery in there and see what happens then battery is that the right way around or is this the right way around no, it feels like it's the other way so I assume it's this way hmm and like I said it's so close there you know look at that distance there. I don't know why they would put them there and yeah we have some power there it says connecting at the moment so um, I'm just gonna I'll put some double-sided tape on the other side of a battery in a few minutes but for now I just want to sort of click it together okay it says Laura mode zero on the screen um, and now um, you know obviously I got to load Mestastic or, or something on here I can see that the buttons are working okay it seems good um, you know that's a factory firmware that's on there so I'm going to plug it in from my computer um, and um, let's go to the computer and I'm gonna go and uh, let's first flash Mestastic on there so I'm going to go to um, Mestastic, um, their uh, Flasher website, and that's called flasher.mestastic.org. Um, okay. And there we are, flasher.mestastic.org. Okay, so uh, select device. Um, they have an auto detect now, but uh, let's go uh, ESP32. Let's see, is the ESP32 V4 over here? No, no, I don't see it there. So this is a Haltech. So uh, ESP32. Oh, let's try auto detect. There it is. You can see, um, you know, I have a Mac, so I know that that is the. Uh, 
the device over there. So I'm going to auto detect, select that device and hit continue. And what is it going to do? Is it going to, it says no. It doesn't want to auto detect it. Uh, let's try that one more time. It says nope. Um, it's not auto detecting this. So L, let's look under Haltech. Yes, oh, there's a Haltech V4. Haha, <laughs> there it is. Huh? So I went to the Haltech. There's Haltech V4. So which version do I want to load? I'm just going to load the latest alpha. I'm going to hit flash. You can read all of this, of course. I'm going to hit continue. I'm going to say full erase because this is the first time I'm flashing this. I'm going to say full erase. And you can see it's busy doing stuff, but this is the factory firmware that's on there. So I'm going to see, hit full erase and flash. I'm going to select that unit. I'm going to hit continue and it says, nah, I can't open that serial port. Not today, it says. So um, let's try this uh, another time. I'm going to hit the reset. And it seems like um, after I hit the reset button, which was the bottom one, it uh, accepted the, 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 the device and it says erasing flash. So one thing I do know is this thing has um, now PS RAM on it. I know that it now has double the memory on it. There's a lot of cool things that they've added, you know, but I don't know if it makes such a big difference um, at the end of the day. I'm kind of assuming it's done at this point. Usually it says done or something to that effect. So I'm going to give it a second or two, but no, it seems to be done. Nope, there it goes. It goes leaving. That's what I was looking for. So um, I'm going to see that it does an auto reset there. And I can see that the screen is now on. And it's talking about the welcome screen. This is the, the, um, the default um, LoRa stuff. So um, let me see if I can find this uh, device now on my phone. Okay, I'm going to go into the Mestastic app over here. And um, I think I have to set my down so you guys can see this. Okay, I'm going to go into the Mestastic app. I'm in there. Maybe a little bit brighter than that. Uh, something like that, I guess. Okay, I'm into the Mestastic app. I'm going to go to uh, uh, down here and I'm going to, you can see all the devices that I, I've used in the past. I'm going to use scan and I'm going to see if I see a new device. <clears throat> and it's busy scanning and it says, oh, nine, Mestastic 9040. Let's uh, try and connect to that guy. Good. And it's showing uh, a pin over there. Uh, nine... Uh, what's it? 623, 428. Okay, 623, 428. Boom. That's the, the pin that it's showing. Uh, let's see. And it seems you, we are in. So I'm going to go into... Uh, you can see it turn green down the bottom here. We're going to go into LoRa. Um, and I'm going to select my region. And I will say United States. And I will say save. And I think that will probably reboot the unit. Okay, come on. You can do it. It says rebooting. And uh, it seems to be very interesting how long it takes to reboot, but there it comes. 2714. Um, and it 
uh, I said to European 933, they said it to United States. I thought that's what I said it to. Let's save it. Let's reboot. You know, nowadays with all the, the apps and stuff, who knows? Close. Okay. There we go. I think it's on US now. Um, I'm going to hit refresh. I'm actually going to disconnect from it here. Um, and it was just 9040. But, you know, it could be the version that I loaded. Um, uh, 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 could be the problem. Um, but I would expect that. Oh, there it goes. There it, ah, now it's much better. Uh, it's working. Yeah. So uh, the button's taking me through the, the list. Let's connect to 9040 over here again and see. Whew, it uh, took a little bit of stuff to get this going. That, that's very interesting. So let's have a look. Um, it seems to have picked up a Haltech V3. There's a Haltech V4. Uh, let's go back into configuration. Let's go back to LoRa and make sure that this thing is set to United States. There it is. United States and that's 906.875 is uh, the frequency. So yeah, you know, the rest of the stuff here, um, you know, this is just default default stuff it um, you know it will it will start auto discovering nodes now um, this seems to be working now the they always take a second which is but what's interesting is on the screen now suddenly there is this PS RAM which is not I don't believe it's there with the Haltech v3 there's a PS RAM over there which means you can now you make this a store and forward server it has that extra memory, so you can use it. Um, and there's the time. Of course, uh, we have to set uh, the time properly, and that's, um, I think, under device, you've got to set the time zone. I'm just going to use the phone's time zone, and um, that should set the, the, the clock properly. Yeah, you can see it's discovering new nodes now as it goes along. Um, when it reboots, it will use the new new time zone. So, um, yeah, it looks to be working. Um, um, I will give you my feedback in a, in a few days. Let's show, uh, include unknown. We can see, yep, it's picking up a lot of nodes here. We can see where it's picking up a Tampa node. So, um, yeah, I think this is great. Um, I uh, will give you my feedback in, in, a, in a few days on this. And let's see where we go with it. Um, it seems to be nice. Um, it's already running. I'm just going to, you know, double side tape uh, the uh, battery on and put a screw in there or whatever and, and be happy. Okay. Thanks for watching this week and uh, we'll speak soon.